Yeah, okay. I see that. That's a blessing. Amen. It is. Good. I'm glad you're back, bro. That's a good thing. Well, let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for the word tonight. Thank you for these mighty men of faith. Thank you for what you're doing in their lives, Father. Thank you for this time together. Thank you, Father, we can freely study your word in this country you planted us in. And, Lord, we thank you that the Holy Spirit opens our hearts, our eyes, our spirits to receive from you that which you would say to the church tonight. In Jesus' name. Everybody say Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Well, anybody got any questions before I get started about the Bible? Anything about the Bible you want to ask? Yeah, bro. I've kind of been pondering on the scripture. I read it today with Omar, uh, Hebrews 10:26. All right, let me go there. Your name is Dave. David. David. Okay. All right. And he is. What's your name, brother? This one's Josh. 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 Okay. 10:26. Okay. What did you want, What did you want to know about that? I'm just kind of scared. I mean. What does it really mean? Does it mean that if we we have one shot and after we know the truth, we repeat that sin, that's it? It's just well, no, you have to take that in light of the whole Bible, not just one scripture here. And then the blood of Jesus is strong enough to cleanse you from sin. What What it would be would be if you habitually chose to go back into a sin and not uh, you know not be repentant of it then you would have a fearful looking toward that day because there's no repentance you're stubborn you're hard hearted you're stiff necked about it uh, so uh, it is true that we need to be cautious you know we need to I wouldn't do anything to risk my eternity you know um because it's too big of a risk, too big of a gamble. If I think, well, I can just do this for a while and be okay, well, can you? I mean, you know, no. Sin has penalties. Sin has consequences. And even though it might not steal your eternity at that moment, it's going to steal something from your victory on earth and can lead to stealing your eternal salvation. But... The key would be the habitual doing of it. Stiff neck, hard hearted, knowing better, and just saying, I don't care, I'm going to do it anyway because I like it. And if you do that, you got a, you got an issue there. you got a problem that you pray God will soften your heart and uh, repent. So I hope that helps you. Thank you. Now, I tell you, you might couple that with looking first, John, to, just to balance that out. Sure. Yeah. Um, real fast, uh, we, uh, John, uh, one of our chapel teachers, uh, John Golden, he, uh, we, we had a big teaching on, on this scripture, actually. And, uh, you know, if you take the, the book of Hebrews in the context, yeah. Paul is writing to the believers uh, who were Jewish, yeah. the Hebrews, um, that were continually sacrificing um Bulls and you know heifers and lambs, I guess, and uh, and uh, you know for for their for their sin, right. and that they were continually they were continual you know they would sin, and uh, instead of leaning on God's grace, they were re-sacrificing these animals, which was making no um, you know was doing nothing, and he was kind of telling them there that they're taking the Son of God, who was given as a sacrificial lamb for the remission of all ah. sins, and trampling him underfoot. Um, and that there was no sacrifice left that you could make to, for the atonement of sin that the, the sacrifice was given already. So, you know, the, that's the historical context he gave us with that book. Um, yeah. so I haven't done any further insight for you or any further Yeah, it's a serious thing, no doubt about it. And uh, thank God Jesus' blood washed us clean. Amen. And we don't have to sacrifice cows or bulls or chickens or whatever. In 1 John, it says in verse 7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. 
If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. <coughs> so you have to take that to balance out that scripture here that the blood of Jesus is cleansing you on a daily basis as you walk with him and from sin. Um, but if you if you choose to habitually shake your fist in the face of God and say, I'm just going to do it anyway, and there's some problems. you got some issues. All right? Praise the Lord. Amen. So, the, the, the key to that is, yes, be cautious with your uh, salvation, but, um, but know also that God's grace prevails. And mm -hmm. He's probably more interested in your salvation than you are because he sent Jesus when you were still a sinner to die for you when you're still a sinner and even when you mess up along the way he sends angels and he comes himself to get you and bring you out of the pig pen back into the house of God that's the kind of God we serve it's wonderful mm -hmm. you make anything else? that's good good question praise the Lord Well, you're almighty quiet tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about the correlation between your salvation and your divine health. There's a lot of sickness going around right now. And uh, so I thought maybe I would uh, just show you how that when the Bible talks about that you're saved, it also talks about that you're healed. Look, we'll start in Psalms. Psalm 103. Somebody read verses 1 through 4 for me. Psalm 103, 1 through 4. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all the iniquities, who heals all thy diseases, who redeems thy life from destruction, and who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Praise the Lord. Okay, it says verse two says, "Don't forget his benefits." Right? All his benefits. God has some benefits for you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Benefits are a good thing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All right, what are the benefits? Well, he names them here. <coughs> he forgives all your iniquities. What's that? <coughs> iniquities? Yeah, what, what is forgiven? Of? But if, if he's forgiven my iniquities, what am I forgiven of? Okay. What? Okay. Yeah, sin. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, that would be salvation, would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. If your sins are forgiven you and you realize that, that would be...